Well, if this doesn't want to make you go out and get the Corona jab, I don't know what will. We're going to talk about it, guys. Let me mention to you off the top, I am now on Rumble. Have you subscribed there to me yet? If not, what are you guys waiting for? The link is below. That is our backup because of the increased censorship here, guys. Don't wait for me to get kicked off of YouTube. You'll never see me again. Get on over there to Rumble and check out the content I'm posting there. Also, please like this video, share it, hit the bell, subscribe, and wear the glasses because I'm blind. Well, it's all about a month of action, according to Mr. Joe Biden, who says that he really wants you to help him reach his goal of getting 70% of America with the corona jab, at least one dose of the jab by July 4th, because he wants America to be able to celebrate its independence from corona. And the only way that that can be achieved, I'll say it again, the only way that can be achieved is if 70% of the country gets at least one dose of the corona jab. See, I, I didn't know this. I'm so glad we have Biden to communicate that information to us because here I am thinking that, look, I'm a born-again believer in Jesus Christ. I can declare myself free from anything. I don't need to go get something. I don't need to be jabbed to say my, I'm free from corona or whatever it is. Oh, thank God Joe Biden is here to tell me that oh, I can't actually say that unless I go get a jab. It's completely ridiculous. It's so untrue. But rest assured, if you go and get the jab, look, there's all kinds of promises. Biden, look, Biden's got your back, people. Free beer? Free child care? Yeah, he's promising it. Now, the child care, we're talking about parents who sign up for a, a jab clinic are going to get free child care for their kids. This is going to be in coordination with 500 different YMCAs and Bright Horizons daycare centers, giving free child care so the parents can go ahead and attend these jab clinics, learn more about it, and then the hopes of them coming out with at least, you know, getting the, the first dose of the jab at that point. But then Anheuser-Busch chiming in. And what do they say? Well, I'm going to talk about that in a second, guys. Let me mention here, if God puts it on your heart to donate to our ministry, we could really use your help. You know, we're demonetized here on YouTube. They're not going to support Christian conservative content creators like myself. It's not going to happen. But if you enjoy what I do and you would like to help support, it really goes a long way. Even just a couple bucks a month. The link's down below. You could do PayPal or Patreon. Guys, if you sign up for Patreon, five bucks a month, you get the bonus content. My podcast, I talk more about sensitive information there. Plus, we include the links to these YouTube videos up there because you're not going to get alerted every time one of these comes out. It's not going to happen anymore. So when you're there, Patreon, you're going to get the alerts. Then you can just comment on these videos there. Do it censorship-free because of the fact that YouTube is blocking and hiding so many comments that you guys write now. I'm never going to see them. So Patreon is a great way to make sure you can just get your comments out there, have more of a free-flow discussion without any worry of anything being blocked. I highly recommend it, and it blesses our ministry. So thank you to everybody who's able to help us out with that. And for those of you who already do, you guys are great. But Anheuser-Busch chiming in saying they want to be part of this as well, helping to encourage, not coerce, no, 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 encourage Americans to go ahead and get the job. Because if they do, and if we get to Biden's goal of 70%, well, Anheuser-Busch will buy a round for America. Of course, if you're 21 and older, Round of free beer for anybody that gets the jab. If we can hit that 70% mark or any other of Anheuser-Busch's products, even including some non-alcoholic non beverages. Now, has this inspired you guys any? I mean, are you ready to go out there and get that? I mean, even your states, you know, they're giving away lottery tickets and promising, you know, discounts for other things. I mean, all of these states are doing it. And look, Republican governors are not excluded from this. I've called them out before. Ohio Governor Mike DeWine, West Virginia Governor Jim Justice, so many others. So no, they're, believe me, they're all part of the same deal together, okay? I don't look at them as any sort of special deal. Everybody actively working together. Biden promised that we can have a summer of freedom. Well, and here again, I, ignorant me to think that I've been free all this time. I haven't been free. I can't be free until 70% of the population gets the jab. A summer of joys, he said, and of freedoms, and with being with family again, and being able to have barbecues. It's stuff that we've all been doing for the longest time now. 
But Biden's going to say, well, now you can enjoy it legit. Whatever. Here's the thing. They're not going to make the goal. They won't, they won't make the goal. I don't even think they'll flub the numbers in order to say that the goal was met. Because here's what's going to happen. This is just what I feel, and I could be totally wrong. It's just my opinion. They won't make this goal of 70% by 4th of July. And then all of a sudden, all the whole incentive programs and, and, and everyone trying to be nice and encourage people, then you're going to see people start to get angry. We tried to get you free things. We did everything we could to try to, you know, just show you how important this was. But now because you Americans won't go out and get the job, now we have to take things to the next level. Now we're going to start requiring it. Now you will be required. It will be mandatory for you to get that job. Case numbers will spike out of nowhere. Because why not? You can do whatever they want just wait because numbers are down they're in decline with the jab right now everywhere but people aren't buying into this they have gone back to living they don't need to hear these shills out there saying go get this we'll give you free this we'll give you free that now there are some people to go for it but look large part of the country at least is smart enough to know what's going on Look, this is all leading to Revelation chapter 13. And I've talked about it before, and the prophetic times are here. I, I believe we're accelerating down that path now. And do you know Jesus as your Lord and Savior? This is why we do these videos. We talk about the prophetic headlines that are going on around the world because we are trying to get people to Christ because time is running out, ladies and gentlemen. If you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, this is your opportunity. Maybe you click this video, you didn't think this blind guy is going to be talking about trying to lead you to Jesus, but yet here I am. And a lot of people, eh, they probably clicked off the video by now. That's on them. But if you're still here, it's by divine appointment, I believe you want to receive Jesus. Here's how you do that. You start by first acknowledging that you're a sinner. We all are. But God sent his son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for the sins of all the world. He died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. Now, what you have to do is repent of your sin. Repent means you need to turn from that sin. Not just to say you're sorry, but to turn from a lifestyle or a habit, whatever it is in your life that's counter to what the Word of God says. You ask Jesus to forgive you, he'll wipe that sin away. The Bible says he won't even remember it anymore. Then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. I pray you make that decision today. I'll have more for you guys on this down below. Let me know your thoughts. Don't forget the links to donate to our ministry are there as well. It's a great blessing if you can help us out. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.